Okay. <laughs> it's uh, 11.30 a.m. and I'm finally just all packed up and ready to go. We're going to go stay the night in the shed. It all started back in January, in the dead of winter, that I decided to tackle this project on our remote 20-acre off-grid property. Man, when I look back at it and really think about it, I can definitely say that I must have been suffering from some serious cabin fever. But I knew that a shed would be a great asset to that location and assist me greatly during the cabin build, so I was determined to make it happen. My plan changed partway through to make this shed not only a place to properly and safely store tools and supplies, but also a place for me to camp out in when I build the cabin, as so much time and energy is spent just getting to and from this location. This definitely took me much longer than I thought it would, but in the end, I'm really proud of it. Over four months later, the shed is finished, and I am finally set to camp out in it for the first time. I am at the top, I'm on the rail grade, like where I park. So I have a lot of stuff to take down. So I'm sure I forgot some pretty important things, I'm sure. But I hope I have the things that are just necessary. I have dog food, I have a dog bed, my bedding, two pillows. What else do I need? Oh, I have food. <laughs> I do have some food. Okay. I have never done the Sky Mule by myself, so hopefully this works. <laughs> okay. Riley came back. Riley, did you come back? Where'd you go, Black Dog? Riley went all the way down to the cabin and he went for a swim. Well, I wouldn't say swim, but he went for a little bit of a dip. Riley doesn't like to swim, but he went to the lake and walked in and got a drink and came all the way back up. I think he thought we were gonna stay there. <laughs> it's super nice, super nice right now, but that is gonna change. Getting set up here. Getting settled in, I should say. <sighs> okay. I don't know, it's like th almost 3.30. And what am I gonna do this evening? I can't sit around and do nothing. So I'm gonna do something. <laughs> Obviously, the next phase of things is to start working on the cabin. Um, I'm here to spend the night and ha have the, um, spend my first night out here in my little shed and, and that's kind of the point of this is just to kind of see what it's like, see what I need, see what works well, see what needs to be tweaked in terms of like my setup here, uh, for when I work on the cabin. And obviously the cabin is the next main project that I'm going to be working on. Unfortunately, the month of June is rain like every day is forecasted to be raining pretty much every day there's the odd day that there's a little bit of sun and cloud but more or less we're in it for rain so i'm gonna just have to be out here in the rain there was something i'd thought about doing um, as it's starting to rain now <laughs> is adding a temporary overhang over top of this like little porch just using this tarp that I have on the deck here just something that I'm going to take down just so I can quickly throw up tighten the tarp over top of it and then I've got extra rain a space to get out of the rain if it starts to like torrentially downpour and I at least want to like sit outside it's kind of like not too bad covered with the trees but I'm going to be doing something 
while I'm out here. So I kind of thought I might do that. Other than I'm gonna take Riley for a bit of a hike and put her around. But that's kind of what I'm thinking I'm gonna do. I brought Riley with me. I wasn't gonna bring a dog at all. And then I thought I would bring Riley. I don't wanna bring Hannah cause I just don't know. Like I didn't know how it was gonna be like out here. And Hannah has cancer and I don't know she's doing pretty good but she tuckers out a bit more easily and if I'm out here running up and down this mountain and doing all these things Hannah tends to follow me everywhere and it's exhausting for her and me and so she tends to worry about me honestly um, following me everywhere watches my move like She's also not a great guard dog. Hannah's afraid of like bears and everything. Riley is a great guard dog, so I brought him. He's pretty independent and, you know, hardy, I guess, compared to Hannah a little bit. So, ran into a problem already. It's been like a couple, at least a couple of weeks since I've been out here. It's always hard to remember what I need to bring out here, what I brought home, what I need to bring back. And I took all the batteries home to charge them and I didn't bring any of them back. I actually have one up in my truck. So that's going to really affect if I can do anything. While I'm out here, I'm gonna go up and get that one battery that I've got, it's a two amp hour, so it's not gonna last me long. But um, I do wanna do a couple things. I do wanna add a, a little thing to the door, a latch to close it. to relax. There is like a big storm cloud coming that way. There's one that way. Whew. It's gonna be gnarly, I think. It's starting to rain and I'm just debarking this stuff. Um, camera's in the door, in the doorway. <laughs> I don't know how much it's really supposed to rain. It was only supposed to rain a little bit up until like 9 or 10 p.m. So I'm hopeful that this isn't gonna stay long and I can keep kind of plugging away at some things. This deck in particular. There, got this one debarked. For the most part, I just wanted to tidy it up a little bit. Come on, rain, go away. Go away. Look at it over there. Uh. I've tried to think of if I should have it all the way the length of the deck, but that's not the length of the hut. So, yeah. I'm just keeping it narrower and because I don't have a lot of time to like think about it and do this like properly. Like this is temporary. I'm going to take this down once the rain goes away. Um, it's just quick, something for me to have a bit of extra shelter from the rain. And so that if I want to cook over the stove, like the camp stove, I'm not in the pouring rain. So that's the plan. And because I'm here and I have nothing else to do.
just for fun, it is level. Pre-drilled and pre-screwed the screws. Okay. Two feet long of chunks. Perfect. To use this as a template for all of them and assume that they're gonna work. I had I had to make myself another glorious ladder <laughs> so I could get up there. Definitely sketchy. weren't long enough and I wasn't gonna go and try and find more. Having a ladder really sucks. <sighs> Whew. Remember, this is temporary. <sighs> okay. It was actually not bad before I put the tarp on it. It was kind of cute, but. So I had actually wanted to, uh, I'll see about getting a fire going. It's, um, oh, the bugs are starting to get really bad. It's um, pretty wet, so I don't know what luck I'm gonna have getting the fire going like the, in, the pit, in, the, um, in the barrel. I'm gonna cook something to eat now. I also wanted to have a shower. I brought like a shower bag and I was gonna heat water up on the fire, but I just don't know how that's gonna go. So, um, Eating first is a priority. I could use this as a chin up. I have to boil some soapy water. Um, for the first time, I've seen rat poop around. Never seen rat poop before, like pack rat. And there was all pack rat poop underneath the tarp, and there was poop in this pot. So I've got to burn it. <laughs> Whoa. Okay, I think all the rat poop is uh, out of there. I didn't bring anything that exciting to eat. I wanted to keep it simple. It was a challenge to think of what to bring. So I just brought leftover butternut squash soup that I threw in some leftover like Mexican rice and beans and corn. So it's a, a Mexican inspired butternut squash soup. Hopefully I don't get sick. Schistomyosis, something you get from rat feces. 
extra tang. Mexican inspired. Butternut squash soup. It's good. <laughs> well, okay. Thank you everyone for joining me tonight. My first night out in my little shed with my new little eccentric <laughs> covered porch. <gasps> Definitely would look better if it wasn't, if, if it didn't have that really crappy tarp on it. And otherwise it wouldn't look too bad. <laughs> well, okay, I'm gonna eat and then um, figure out what I'm gonna do next. Shower, fire. So I got this little thing at the thrift store. <laughs> yes, like this. Um, I took a, a tomato paste tin. I made this like Crisco, it's all on the internet, a Crisco candle thing. The Crisco burns a really long time. I put some essential oils, oils in there to make it smell nice. And then I siliconed it to this base because I had to kind of fit, I had to make something to fit into this. So it should be like this little radiant heater. This is my little furnace. I brought another candle just in a jar. So I'll we'll see. We'll just see how this goes. Uh, I have to go get Riley. He went up to the truck, I think, because he was scared of the um, camp stove. So I'm going to go up there and get him. Fire wouldn't get going on its own, so I had to help it out. Had to lock Riley in the shed because <laughs> he's like afraid of the lighter he's afraid of the fire he's afraid of the stove he's afraid of all these little things and he keeps running up to the truck so he's uh he's having a time out <laughs> I can't tell you how nice this is Showering on a cliff. I think this is for sure maybe a spot where I would put an outdoor shower. The water tank could just be up here, so it just gravity feed. The shower is done, and I'm changed, and just checked on Riley in the house ah. and he's good he's settling down a little bit I have two, the two candles going and it's, and it's actually warm in there so it's about quarter after nine up like a little bit more water to wash my face. I'm so thankful that it's not raining right now. 
Um, yeah, it's supposed to rain starting in the middle of the night, I guess. And then it's at 100% chance, you know, by eight, nine o'clock. So we'll see, we'll see what it's like, but hopefully it's not too bad. Oh yeah, did I tell you? There's a cougar around here. There's actually a cougar down about 30 or 40 feet beyond this burning barrel. Just before we found out that Scout drowned, I wanted to go look in that ravine. I've always wanted to go look down in that ravine. <clears throat> and I finally got to doing it when I was waiting for Steve one day to come up here. And I found pretty fresh cougar poop, like two, maybe three days old. And I didn't have my phone to take a picture or anything of it. So I told Steve about it. And so the next day we both came up and I took him to where it was. And then there was actually fresh, like probably still warm, like glistening cougar poop around the same area. And I took a picture of that one. And I took a picture of the, the other one too. Leave it to a nurse to show you poop. Ha ha ha. Okay, so here is the first poop which is probably a couple, you know, a few days old. And then here is the second poop, which is super fresh. I actually had taken a stick and broke it apart. I was tempted to put my finger in it, but I didn't have a way to properly wash my hands. So I didn't do that. <laughs> but um, yeah, super fresh. So there's definitely a cougar around and I've never noticed that before. Um, I, but I've never, I've never gone down there before, but so we're camping with a cougar tonight. What do you think about that? Yeah, anyway, not much I can do about it. It's kind of why I brought Riley, but um... so dark now, but anyway, welcome to my little home. How oh, Riley, you stay. Uh, uh, uh. Riley's trying to escape. There's Riley down here. Riley's not very impressed. Riley. A little heater. Fire's out there. Okay, I'm gonna kinda get, the only thing that I kind of flopped at here, I forgot about, was the inside, inside latch. So I basically just got a string and some screws and I'm just gonna cinch it tight for tonight. We made it. <laughs> Hi, sweetie. Hi. Um, yeah, some things I'll change. I think I would change the mattress situation. This is comfortable, but it kept sliding off, and I think I'd rather have something a little bit different rather than like an air mattress style of bed. I like like a foam mattress. I'll try. I gotta put Riley in there to turn this stove on because he'll run away.
So in here I just have some powdered coconut milk and a powdered chocolate kind of mix. So I'm going to shake it up and then add a little bit of water. Definitely something that would be nice that I've already was that I've already been thinking about is making just a little table, like a little yeah, like a little bench where I can do all this on, kind of over there where the camera is. Yeah. So I'm not doing this on the ground in the dirt. All in time, right? Rome wasn't built in a day. At some point today, I do have to go down to the cabin. Either I'm going to hike down with Riley, I probably will, or the option is to drive down, but the water is coming up and I need to... I have my kayak on the beach, which I've known for a long time and procrastinated on bringing up, but the water is coming up and it's time I've got to move the kayak or it's going to float away. Good morning. It's raining. This coffee is good. Good and strong. I'm going to sit here and eat, drink my coffee. Okay, bye everyone. I'm gonna hike down with Riley, bring my kayak up off the beach because the water's coming up. Riley is giving me the, the middle claw here. So I am going to go, goodbye, and I will see you in the next video whenever and whatever it'll be about. Woohoo! I like my little porch. Okay, bye. Getting here just in time. <laughs> Are we going for a walk? Are we going for a walk, Norton? Oh yeah, we're going for a walk, Norton. We're going for a walk, Norton. Darling. Hi. <laughs> Hi, I just came to find you. I just came to find you.